In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Mr. Depp's claim against Ms. Hurd. One, as to the statement appearing in the online op-ed entitled Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Johnny Depp runs the table. The jury finding Amber Heard defamed him on every statement in question in her 2018 Washington Post op-ed. The jury awarding Depp damages, both compensatory and punitive. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Ms. Hurd's claim against Mr. Depp. I'm Anjanette Levy, and welcome to this special breaking news edition of Law & Crime Sidebar Podcast on the verdict in favor of Johnny Depp. The jury found that Amber Heard defamed Depp with that Washington Post op-ed, meaning they believe she lied and made up things that she said in that op-ed and that she did it to hurt him with actual malice. Heard, meanwhile, won on one of her claims involving a statement Depp's lawyer Adam Waldman made to the Daily Mail in defense of Depp in 2020. As to this statement, appearing in the April 27, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt did not do the trick. The officers came to the penthouses, thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911, end quote. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Ms. Hurd proven by a greater weight of the evidence? That question, Mr. Waldman, while acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made or published the statement? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was seen by someone other than Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven by clear and convincing evidence that the statement by Mr. Waldman was made with actual malice? Answer, yes. The jury awarded Hurd $2 million in compensatory damages and zero punitive damages, zero dollars. It was interesting because when we first heard the verdict had been reached and that was at 1.29 Eastern time, the verdict would be read at 3 p.m. Eastern. We had a feeling it was a good sign for Depp. We went into the courthouse and at three, the jurors came out, but Judge Askarati sent them back to the deliberation room because they had not awarded damages, which signaled to everyone that defamation had been found by the jury to have occurred. Depp wasn't at the courthouse. His team said he had previously scheduled work engagements, which are concerts with legendary guitarist Jeff Beck. Depp watched the verdict being read from the UK. Heard, meanwhile, arrived at the courthouse and sat with her lawyers as those verdicts were read. The jurors mostly looked at the judge as the verdicts were read. Depp's lawyers, Camille Vasquez and Ben Chu, made brief statements outside of the courthouse. That the claims against Johnny Depp are defamatory and unsupported by any evidence. We are grateful, so grateful to the jury for their careful deliberation to the judge and the court staff who have devoted an enormous amount of time and resources towards this case. We were honored, truly honored, to assist Mr. Depp in ensuring that his case was fairly considered throughout the trial. We are also most pleased that the trial has resonated for so many people in the public who value truth and justice. Now that the jury has reached its conclusive verdict, 
It's time to turn the page and look to the future. Depp was at a tavern in the UK where people congratulated him by shaking his hand. He issued a statement that reads in part, six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed, all in the blink of an eye. False, very serious, and criminal allegations were levied at me via the media, which triggered an endless barrage of hateful content, although no charges were ever brought against me. It had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond, and it had a seismic impact on my life and my career. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. I wish to acknowledge the noble work of the judge, the jurors, the court staff, and the sheriffs who have sacrificed their own time to get to this point, and to my diligent and unwavering legal team who did an extraordinary job in helping me to share the truth. The best is yet to come, and a new chapter has finally begun. Truth never perishes. For her part, Heard issued a statement that reads, The disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. I believe Johnny's attorneys succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so conclusive that we had won in the UK. I'm sad I lost this case, but I am sadder still that I seem to have lost a right I thought I had as an American to speak freely and openly. I am not surprised at all by this verdict, I'm going to tell you. The evidence strongly favored Johnny Depp. The evidence of sexual assault that Heard claimed simply wasn't there, particularly about her claim of the bottle rape in Australia. This was a big day for Johnny Depp and for the truth. I'm going to have more on the verdict on the next edition of Sidebar. I'm Anjanette Levy from the Fairfax County Courthouse. Thanks so much for listening. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, and wherever else you get your podcasts. I will see you next time.